Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Nick from Red Dead Builds and in this episode I'm going to show you how I installed this modern house hydrant. And as always, roll that intro. So my friends from Aqua Water Systems have reinvented the old traditional leaky, rusty hose bib and have come up with this super sleek, super modern house hydrant. And I gotta say, I am pretty impressed. So they sent me the House Hydrant B1 Plus to install and test out on my very own house. So straight out of the box you get the marine grade stainless steel hydrant body and a vacuum breaker hose connector. This hose connector comes with flow control and you can see here with just a quarter of a turn how easy the two come together. It also comes with this cover plate which you can upgrade for the choice of a few different colours. You get stainless steel screws and masonry plugs whether you're going into wood, concrete or brick and a sticker which shows you where to drill and what size holes. Anyway that's enough chit chat, let's get to it. So you want to start off by turning off the water supply to the faucet. Luckily for me, mine is located directly below in a crawl space, but yours might not be the same, so you may have to turn off the water supply to your whole house. I then drained all the water out of the hose bib until it stopped dripping. If you ended up turning off the main water supply to the house, you may want to open up a few taps inside the house, which will help the water drain out faster. So this is what I have going on inside and fortunately for me I am doing a few renovations in this area of the house so I already have the plumbing exposed. You can see the plumbing coming up from the crawl space below and then out through to the outside of the house. Once I'm confident the water is turned off and fully drained I then cut the pipe to remove the old existing plumbing. I removed the screws holding the plumbing in place and then bent the out of the pipe to snap it in half. I would suggest probably getting a saw or a pipe cutter to do this, but I don't know. That was just me. Once the plumbing was free, I removed the hose bib. So, which was kind of unfortunate for me is that the existing hose bib was a little bit close to the trim and I had no room in the wall to move it left or right. So I had to make a essentially a backer block made out of the same material as the existing trim. So I made a few marks on the backer block where the new hydrant is going to go. And then using the cover cap for reference I made a few marks around it. So that way I can cut the block equal distances around it. I then cut the block and made sure I was happy with the fit. Using a silicone caulk, I sealed up around the block and then glued it in place. I 
I then used a couple of exterior lost head screws to hold the block permanently in place. I adjusted it so it sat flat with the existing trim, cleaned up all the coke and filled up any of the holes. Using my square, I made a center mark of where the new house hydrant is going to go. I then stuck the reference sticker in place. I then, with a one and a half inch hole saw bit, drilled the hole where the new faucet is going to go. Once the hole was drilled, I then stuck on the second sticker and then pre-drilled for the screws. Once that was all complete, I then touched up any of the white paint that needed it. Because the plumbing on the inside of my house is half inch PEX, I had to get this adapter which goes from half inch thread to half inch PEX. But don't worry, I will list everything I use in the description down below. I wrapped the thread of the adapter with Teflon tape and then using two adjustable wrenches, I attached the adapter to the hydrant. I slid the cover cap in place and he noticed the back of the cap has a bit of an angle to it. That's so that the hydrant will sit at a 95 degree angle, which will help with drainage. I then lined the screws up with the pre-drilled holes and screwed the hydrant into place. Once the hydrant was locked into place, I did a few last minute touch-ups. I connected to the plumbing located in the crawl space and then brought it up for a new hole which sits closer to the existing wall. I then marked and drilled a hole big enough for the plumbing to go through to the studs to the faucet. I cut the PEX pipe coming up from the floor to the height of the hole. I then, using my PEX clamp, I clamped a 90 degree elbow to the end of the PEX pipe using a 90 degree elbow and a PEX ring. All these parts will be listed in the description down below. I then created a big loop going from the plumbing coming up from the crawl space to the new faucet. So the reason for the loop is to allow for an expansion gap, which means essentially if I want to do any maintenance to the house or the hydrant, I can remove it and have a bit of room to pull it out. That way I don't have to tear up any walls if there's any issues further down the line. Using my PEX clamp and a ring, I clamped the PEX pipe to the house hydrant. There are push fit fittings you can use instead of a PEX clamp, but I just like the reassurance of a clamped ring over a push fitting. I then cut and connected the two PEX pipes together using the same techniques as before.
Once I was satisfied with the plumbing, I then turned on the main water down below and then listened for any leaks or screaming. And we didn't hear anything, which was good. I put the insulation back into place, but I kind of peeled it in half so that the plumbing can sit in between it. So that way it can stay at room temperature and it doesn't scratch or bind against the exterior of the house. I then put the moisture barrier back in its place, sealing up any cuts and splits that I may have made. I have a few other builds going on in this area, so I will be covering up that tiny little bit of plumbing that you see exposed. And I will also be holding off and putting the drywall in just yet, but I can pretty much say that this job is complete. Yeah, let's go. Just want to give a big shout out to Aqua Water Systems. I am really, really impressed on how this house hydrant turned out. With its sleek, innovative design, I would recommend this product to anyone. There's also a bunch of features on this product that I couldn't get to in this video, so I recommend checking out them and their websites, which I will link in the description down below. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to ask me down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I got some sick, sick videos coming up in the near future. I've been working my ass off to make some cool, cool content for you guys. So make sure you subscribe to check that out. If you want to go see more day-to-day -day stuff, please go follow me on Instagram at raddadbuilds. And as always, stay rad. Peace.